why are the Indian Nifty, Rupee and Bonds falling because the US Fed is threatening to raise rates sharply? Um, a lot of Indians feel, aren't we told this time it's a developed economy problem? The US has an inflation of 8.5% versus a target of 2%. India has an inflation of just 7% versus a target of 4%. So we are not terribly off target. Secondly, we, are all, we also are told that India is largely a domestic demand-driven economy. Then why should we worry if US rates rise or if US and Europe are into a recession? Well, here are some connections. First of all, exports as a percentage of India's GDP has been growing. This year, India's goods come services exports is expected to reach at least $700 billion, if not more, which works out to over 21% of our GDP. This was just 18.7% in FI19, and it used to be just 6%, etc., in 1991, you know, when we started our liberalization. Now, a US Europe recession plus a China slowdown can hit this 21% of India plus a multiplier effect. You know, if IT uh, uh, salaries fall, then they consume less, it impacts realty, etc. Secondly, India gets only 13% of its FPI money, foreign fund inflows, via India dedicated funds. The balance 87% of funds that come into Indian equities of mutual funds and global hedge funds comes through what are called global equity funds or EM funds. So, when FPIs sell EMs, they sell when the Fed hikes rates. This is actually an algo trade. Hike rates, sell EMs. Why? One, because US bond, which is a risk-free instrument, is giving more returns. If it, It's risk-free because it is dollar currency. There is no currency depreciation. And it is giving more returns, so money moves from equities to bonds. Secondly, when rates rise, all economies slow, including EM economies. Thirdly, in EM, for an FPI, the hit is double because the currency is also falling and because of the slowdown, earnings are also falling. Okay, why should the EM currencies fall if the Fed is hiking rates? Now, here's the connection. When a fund buys dollars with its rupees, it is getting a lower interest rate. That is, the Fed pays only about 3%. Uh, or if it's a two-year bond, it's 4%. Whereas India T-bill gives a fund 5.5%. But then the rupee may depreciate. So the fund prefers dollars. Hence, the EM central banker, like RBI, has to offer a higher rate to tempt the funds not to convert from rupees to dollars. So central banks like RBI have to always worry about the interest rate differential between the US Fed and their own country. As RBI hikes, the Indian economy also can slow. So for a foreign fund, again, they may want to sell equities or they may want to wait before they buy because they may get it cheaper as the rupee becomes cheaper. To sum it up, as a US, former, uh, a US Treasury Secretary said, the dollar is our currency, but your problem. <laughs>